Tourism Minister Ovi Wilshkem says the Bahamas must continue to push the tourism envelope. He was addressing a workshop for marine operators at the British Colonial Hilton when he assured the group of the government's commitment to charting a steady course through strengthened partnerships. Carla Palmer was there. At first glance, it may appear that the government may not be doing all it can to promote the Bahamas as an ideal tourist destination. But Tourism Minister, the Honorable Obi Wilshkum, is inviting you to look again. He says change is now underway at the Ministry of Tourism to better showcase the Bahamas. We are focusing on some areas where we did not focus as much on before. And we are ridding ourselves of some of the areas where we believe that we have overemphasized and has not given us a good return on our investment. Minister Wilchcombe revealed that a considerable amount of tourism's $85 million budget this year will focus on promotions, with more attention placed on enhancing the product. To reclaim the Bahamas' position as the premier warm weather destination in the Caribbean, the tourism minister is hoping that marina operators embrace the concept of partnership to improve our number one industry. He offered these incentives. We're going to first and foremost ensure that we cause for the support that you've been asking for. You've been asking for matching numbers of your marketing dollars. I think you're somewhere around 40,000. I'm trying to figure out what you're going to do with $80,000. It's not going to do as much as you want. In fact, I'm going to be meeting with my staff to discuss how are we going to give you what you require to make you more viable. How are we going to ensure that the world knows who you are and where you are. Because the truth is, we're still the best kept secret. Many of our places are in the world, still the best kept secret. So we have to use modes of advertisement, whether it's newspapers, radio, television, and of course the internet, to ensure that we get the message out. The minister also addressed the issue of multi-million dollar vessels allegedly being stolen from marinas here. We have a difficulty with that. We've heard, we know the police have been trying to do all that they possibly can. But we also understand that it's a serious crime. We're talking about millions of dollars worth of boats and being stolen. But yet the fine is only up to around $500 if you're caught. Well, there's something wrong with that, and we're going to cause for the Attorney General's office to understand our deep concern and move with haste to try to fix that. Last year, 157,000 vessels landed in the Bahamas. Minister Wilchgum anticipates doubling that number to increase tourism revenue. Carla Palmer, ZNS News.